I'm Josh, and welcome to the DC the Chess Collection Reviews. Uh, the DC Chess Collection is a set of 64 uh, issues with some special issues in, bet in between some of them as well. Um, the first set is the Batman set, uh, the second set no one really knows what it is at the moment, so that's still to come. Um, I'm Josh, and I'm going to be doing them. The DC Chess Collection I found when I went to the news day just one day, I saw it there as being a big match. Big Batman fan, I thought I'd buy it. So after getting it and finding out what it was, probably I decided to subscribe to it. So um, first and foremost, I'm going to tell you I'm going to be releasing a video of a review uh, once every two weeks, mostly on it, probably on Monday, because that's coincides with the release of the piece in the shops. Uh, except for I'm going to be doing about three or four weeks behind. Therefore, I could uh, the time I release the video is always going to be the same, and I'm not waiting for pieces. Hopefully and um, other things that might come up with that. So, so the, today I'm doing issue one, which is the Batman. Uh, with the Batman, you, uh, we get a couple of things in the in the series that you get. So, the first thing I'm going to say that you get with the Batman, obviously, because we're introducing it, is this little suit that says, Don't miss your next issue. And it's just a little thing with a couple of issues on the front, which is sent to your news agent saying, Can you hold issues for me? So obviously this was came from, I think this is when I got issue 2 and even uh, says the same thing pretty much all the time uh, because it says issue 2 on sale the 23rd of February 2012 when these things didn't even come out to the end of September and or the start of September sorry and the, um, issue 2 didn't come up to the second half of September so that's the thing. The second thing is a subscribe and issue book which is where you send to Eagle Moss to subscribe to your order um, I did mine over online because it's easy to do that. Um, even if you subscribe by this, but obviously online as well, you do get two free um, gifts, which is a free one free binder, and you get the chessboard free, which is a huge bonus because it's worth about 150 bucks. So um, Australian dollars that is because I'm down in Melbourne. So that's how much you get. So it's like I'm going to subscribe, <laughs> save money. So <laughs> what it is, seeing any details, send it to Eagle Moss. And it's got just more details on the two free gifts that you get. So, so you get your binder with your first. I must add here that you get your binder with your first delivery and your um, chessboard with your fourth. Now, you don't get that with your... So, with your first delivery, which is more likely going to be your second issue, which would be the next issue that comes up, would actually be the Joker. So, because most of the people will probably buy the first issue in stores. So. The next thing you get in the chess set is a How to Play Chess Guide. Which is central chess know-how for the beginner, which is um, really handy. You know, if you're kind of uh, a beginner at chess and you want to learn proper strat not strategies, but uh, just learn the basics of it, build up your technique in it. Um, I also have to apologise that my camera shows everything backwards, and if it doesn't, then I don't know what happened because to me, um, for when reviewing some stuff that I recorded, um, they still come up like a mirrored image. So, yeah. So if we open this up. It's got simple uh, how the chess work, how the ball works, the kind of like uh, basic moves in chess, the pieces in chess, which, and then also uh, other moves in chess as well as the phases of the chess game. And I'm sorry about the glare as well if that happens. I would have put it a certain way so it's glare off. So that's another part. Let's see. Nice, simple. Next thing you get. Is a kind of a handy book. Is an introduction to the chess set, which is very very helpful uh, when it comes to things. So if we open up this chess, what it gives you is um, kind of look at some of the pieces for the both the black side and the white side. Information about how the pieces about the pieces, not each individual piece, but the piece itself. So it would be about the base, the stat figure, and so forth. And it's also got if it me, it's a rank, so the piece symbols. So you got king, queen. Um, bishop, knight, pawn, and rook, and they correspond to the to a symbol like that. That's on the each individual piece. So, uh, we go over to the next page, and it shows you the site of. So it says you kind of like an animated drawings of each uh, side. So the full thirty-two pieces of the set. Um, Eagle Moss made as a mistake. I'll take it here. Just has to realize that that in the rules of chess, each queen must be on its own color. Now, if this happens, the king will have to be facing the king, and the queen will have to be facing the queens. Now, at the moment, they've got Catwoman facing Joker, and Harley Quinn facing Batman, so obviously it doesn't work. Um, to make this kind of mistake 
fit properly, so you, the chest can crash here. Because you, know you actually actually have to switch Catwoman and Batman uh, their square, so Batwoman, not Batwoman, Batman will be behind Commissioner Gordon and Catwoman will be behind Alfred. And also, and then the last page is just what's in your magazine, uh, which is a different part of the magazine, which I'll go through in the actual magazine of that. And the last page is just trying to get you to subscribe in. The, the, especially about subscribing, so so you don't miss a single issue or a single piece. You'd want 32 pieces of play a chess game. Or you could just use it on a display, which would be really nice as well. But yeah. Okay, and then we start with the magazine. This is the Batman, as they used to call him. Well, now it's just Batman. Um, I'll, as we go through this, I'll tell you some other stuff now. Okay, this has got a brief observation. Apart from this being the side and the characters that are on the side here, uh, what it has here is just a brief thing of Batman's um, thing. And how he sits in the collection. Very, very brief. This page is your uh, information on the character. So, his story, so you got some of how he became Batman. Uh, dynamic duo with Robin. Up in the top there is his alliance with Catwoman. Uh, next page. Which is still the same one as the thing before, which is called the profile. And it's got some more stories about him. Um, also, that's about what's called breaking the bat. And both Batman had his back broken and had to give up the cow for a while to what they call Jean Paul Valley. Um, or Jean Paul Valley. He was the uh, Azrael. He became the second bat. And that's in the kind of Nightfall series of thing. Uh, next one is called The Gallery. Now, what it gives you is one story that uh, is kind of good to if you want to ever learn more about the character or a good book for the character. This one particularly is Batman The Long Halloween um, by Jeff Leob and Tim Sale, which was released in 1996. So, it's in Batman's, for one of those, it's during Batman's second career. So, or well, Bruce Wayne's second career is Batman, and is, and I'll be honest here, I think the majority, or pretty much all of these books that are in this gallery section, I have not read. Um, you have to know what I've read. I'm more of a person who, at the moment, is reading the Golden Age of comics. Uh, Batman stories like Detective Comics issue 27, to Batman number 1, Batman number 2, and all that. So, I kind of haven't reached the whole 96 part of it. I'm still 1940 at the moment. I'm trying to get into 41, so I'll catch it eventually. Uh, that's got information about some important place, usually, between it. So, it's a common Gotham Guide, so it's got, and Gotham City, so... With Batman, it's obviously the Batcave. And then the last page, yeah, that's also the same thing as that. So, oh no, rank and file. So that's a bit of story. Oh, no, skip a file. Sorry. Yep. So rank and file is Bat, um, gives you insight about how Batman and why he was chosen for the individual chess piece. So why he is the White King. Uh, when you have a DC chess set with Batman, being a Batman chess set, um, it's more just common sense that Batman's a king. But... It gives you a good explanation of why he's that piece. And that's just a thing of the White King's moves. So, And then at the back, I'll tell you what the next issue is. With the brush the piece. So the next issue is obviously in Joker. Okay, on to the actual piece now. Um, as the character, it kind of looks like that. So it's a base with a gargoyle on it with a figure on top. Um, this particular figure is Batman dressed in his bat suit from the Batman Incorporated series. Um... It's, it would be a hard choice to pick what Batman suit to choose. I'm guessing they had the reason to choose this particular one. Um, because Batman over time has had that many suits, as most people shall know. There's about 50 or different ones, and so forth. Um, starting from the bottom, so lovely base there. Uh, it's formed really well. Uh, the only thing I'd say about, about the base and everything, like the paint and everything, about, is that the paint tends to rub off a tiny bit on the base. But... Look, well score it. Look at the design of that is absolutely amazing. Fits in with the Gotham architecture that's at the time. Uh, and that little thing there in the center, so that little sparkly thing, is a symbol for the king. Uh, why just a symbol for the white king is because of and because the base is silver rather than like a bronzy color. That's it. The actual figure of the Batman. Well sculpted. Um, well, the paints are... What's really good about it is how the cape flows. It's very thin. flows all the way down to over the chest piece, which looks really, really nice. It's fantastic. Um, good detail in the belt. 
performance, right? And also in the bat symbol on his chest. Um, the other thing I'll say about my bat symbol is that it's a little tiny bit smudged when you actually look at it. When you look at it this close, it doesn't actually look too bad, which is funny, but that's how it works anyway. Uh, the face sculpt is really good as well. Cow is made as in anything. The only problem that most people have with DC chest sculpt is with this chest clash is the face sculpts and the face, how the face is painted. It's like some the eyes are a bit junk, like over here instead of there. Um, with a figure this small, and it's bound to happen. But look, over, like, obviously with cow figures, it's not that much of a problem. Uh, some people have had it, so that's why it's one thing to look out for. But that's a really good sculpt of the, of the Batman. So looking over Gotham City, um, obviously trying to protect people. Wonderful sculpt. So that's about it for the Batman. See? For the Batman figure. And I'll be back maybe in about two weeks. I'll give you issue two to check us. So goodbye.